Hey guys, so it has been a busy, crazy three days. Claudia left late last night after getting her husband from the airport, and I know she made it home safely. She sent me a text this morning. I made her promise, and uh, it was great having everybody here and seeing everybody, but man, I'm tired. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so tired. I almost missed my appointment at the hairdresser this morning, <laughs> but I made it. As you can tell, see, I got my hair done. I got some crazy colors put in and you can you can always tell when I've been because she kind of straightens it way more than I ever do. <laughs> it always looks really good after you leave, right? But then you never get it exactly the way they do. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Got a lot of stuff to share. Okay. So I made um, quite a few little watercolors um, over the three days while we were visiting and arting and chatting and kind of having these art party get together things. It was really great. Um, one of the things Claudia got when we visited Scrap, and if you guys haven't all seen our field trip video, it's on my channel and Claudia's, the same video. Claudia edited all the film clips together and we both posted them. She found this piece of Arches watercolor paper that I think is like at least 300 pound. So, I don't know if you can see, this is the regular paper that I use. This is the one that she found. Look how much thicker it is than this one. This is 140 pound. So I think this is at least 300 pounds. She gave me a piece, thank you Claudia, to try because I've never, I, it's paper I don't normally, I can't afford. So um, anyway, I did a little paint. Sarah Whitney had purchased some daisies that we had on the table while we were arting and playing and chatting that were really pretty. So when Claudia gave me this little art card, I painted a little still, uh, watercolor still life. Let's see if I can get a good angle for you guys. There you go. So that's cute. It's a little ATC card. I did a bunch of little watercolors on just scraps of paper while we were sitting and chatting and I pulled out a bunch of my different kinds of watercolor kits and I let people try them. And of course I was swatching a few paints that I purchased while we were out and about. I wasn't really, I didn't really make a color key. I was just playing with the colors I bought. And I'll tell you more about that later in a different video. We won't do it today. But yeah, of course I did buy paint. Because, you know, y'all know me. Of course I bought paint while we were at Dick Blick. Because, you know, I did a seas Of course I did a seascape. Something else y'all should know about me. I, I do a lot of seascapes. Some, you know, goofy abstract flowers. Just some, you know, playing with pup paints, puddling together and blending. A weird little cactus plant. I don't know where I was exactly going with this. It's cute, but I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Another ATC. Some of these will end up for sale in my Etsy shop. Here's that watercolor abstract. And while we were here and playing and chatting, I found these two drawings that I did when I was still teaching at Michael's in a stash of stuff. I kind of forgot where they were. Here's one. These are just pencil and charcoal. Here's another one. These are lesson plans from Michael's Arts and Crafts drawing class, and if you have a Michael's near you, they probably have a drawing class, or one of the Michael's near you does, so check with them. And they have these two lesson plans. This is the floral lesson plan, and this is one of the steampunk, le this is the steampunk, but I think steampunk butterfly. Um, so yeah, you can learn how to draw these if you visit your local Michael's store. My new order of brushes came in that I ordered, uh, watercolor brushes that I ordered a while ago, and while we were sitting in there at the table and I was, sh you know, sharing them with them, you know, the brushes come with the clear plastic tube protecting the tip of the brush, and I looked at this pile of tubes and thought, what happens if I rubber band them together? <laughs> you get this interesting tool that you can dip in ink or paint to make interesting marks. So yeah, that was fun. My husband went to lunch with some friends and co-workers from his company. Um, somebody he's, he knows, his wife works at Google. And so they went to lunch at Google and got to uh, visit the Google campus, which is, I understand, phenomenal and like its own private small city. And, is fun. It even has, uh, you know, slides from the second floor to the first floor and things like that. 
So he not only brought me back his guest badge, but he stopped at the Google store because, yeah, you know, there's restaurants and gyms and a Google store. And he got me a cute little notebook. Isn't that cute? With lined, oops, lined paper and a pen. And that was, that was so nice. He knows me so well. I love it. And then I got some happy mail. This first one, I was expecting something from Heidi Richards. What I wasn't expecting was the happy mail she included. So she included a note on the back of this great jelly print. And some really fabulous vintage California postcards. So look at these people. Aren't they great images? They're just fabulous. They'll be great in a journal or maybe even to make a little book out of them by themselves. I love them. I wasn't expecting them at all. I thought they were great. So thank you, Heidi. I appreciate it. What else? What else? I got some um, more sets of my rubber stamps in, in stock. I was running a little low, so anybody out there who wants them, visit my Etsy shop. The link is in the description below. They're in stock, not in the, only in the unmounted sets, but I do have them in cling and in wood mount. Now, when you buy cling or wood mount, you get them one design at a time. If you buy them unmounted, you get the whole set of designs in that set. So that's the better value, but if you want just, you know, one stamp, I have that, so. I got an unexpected, very unexpected happy piece of Happy Mail, about envelope of Happy Mail from Victor um, in, the, in Ukraine. And I went and I picked up this, she says, you have an international envelope you have to sign for. Okay, I wasn't expecting it, and so I opened it, and it's just fabulous, Victor. So let me show you all what he sent me. So first he sent me, um, let me find the other one because there's two of them in here. Was she, Claudia and I were both going through this because it came while she was here. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. So he sent me these two pieces of sparkly paper, sparkly cardstock. Aren't they pretty? I love them. He sent me two um, vintage maps of England. Um, one is the English lakes. And it's uh, these are really big maps. Like these are, you know, the kind we all used to carry in our car before we got GPS. <laughs> Somebody asked me recently how I managed to get around before GPS. I said, well, I've always, I, I get lost. I got lost then, I still get lost, GPS or no. But uh, Thomas Guide, and one person in the conversation was like, Thomas Guide, really? Because they knew what it was. The other one, you can tell was young because she saw, what's a Thomas Guide? <laughs> yeah, those of you out there who, you know, right? The rest of you, you need to ask the older ones because, yeah. Anyway, these are big. So I got this one of the lakes. Yeah, I loved my Thomas Guide. I still got lost, but it was great. And then this one is... It just says... Uh, it's an Oxford Ordnance Survey. I don't know what that means, but it's a giant map. Big. I'm not going to unfold the whole thing because it's huge. So thank you. I got these uh, decals from him. I can probably use it as stickers or um, onto maybe some journal pages with some gel medium. This bag of jumbo and, and shaped paper clips, which is fabulous. And there's one that came loose. A bunch of images and things out of books and magazines that will a few, some of them have English writing on them, but they also have, almost all of them have Russian on them. It looks like Russian. It could be Ukrainian. I don't know. Cause, you know, I barely speak English, so. <laughs> but he, all these fabulous images, which are going to be great. I can't wait to use them in my drop paper journal, which is not full yet. I'm working on it, but it's getting really fat. Then he sent me a piece of artwork, a couple pieces of artwork. Here is one, and I've got to fix the little bird's head. 
but here's one. And then he sent me some art cards. And then this bigger one, which is like almost like a tag. I love all the different like text textures he puts on these. This one, you just want to, you just want to touch them and kind of play with them. <laughs> He has, you know, bits of lace and fabric and, you know, rhinestones and all kinds of stuff. So cool. Then he made me this sort of little journal full of, it looks like, like collage papers. And the cover is fabric. And then it, it's full of these different, like, wrapping papers and different vintage papers and things that I can use for um, collage or look at this one I love that one old book text and music and all sorts of things thank you Victor so much I love all the happy mail that you guys send me it's just so wonderful now I have to put it all away and I'm really tired <laughs> oh boy the daughter is still in Spain, but she's doing well, and she's having a great time. She'll be home soon, which is good because that means I get my car back from my husband. That's a long story, but yeah, while she's gone, I'm having to drive her Volkswagen Beetle. And what is it about driving a Volkswagen Beetle that everybody else on the road thinks you're invisible? Why is that? Oh, my God. I almost got killed on the way to the hairdresser this morning by somebody who just didn't even see me. They just didn't even see me. And her beetle is bright metallic lime green. So it's not like it's a color that blends in <laughs> with anything. Oh, boy. Anyway, she's having a good time, and she'll be home soon, and we all miss her. So, But I'm glad she's having a good time. So I think that's it for right now. I need to do an art card today. It's the 25th, and I need to get it filmed for y'all and I think that's it I can't I'm sure there's other stuff I'm sure I am just tired and I can't think of it <laughs> I don't know I think that's it I picked up a few things when we were out shopping besides the watercolor paints including I got um, some of the Dina Wakely um, fine tip applicators. I just got one. Um, I got it from Hobby Lobby when I was there with Claudia because she'd never been to a Hobby Lobby. Um, I just got one because I want to try it. Claudia loves them and I trust her. She's my friend. So um, I'm going to try it. I may not like, I may like them. I may not like them. I may only want them on black um, or white, which will be a problem because I don't own all the colors in the Dina Wakely paint. like the metallics or the black or the white. <laughs> I don't want the metallics. I have lots of other metallic paint, but um, let me stick it on the um, night color, the dark blue. So we'll see. I'll, I'll give it a try. Maybe the raw umber. I think she calls it umber. Um, I think that's it. All right, you guys all go out, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do smart. Have some fun. Enjoy your friends. It was all good. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.